So I thought the first. So I thought that. <laughs> Hi guys! So you guys already know what this video is going to be, judging by the title, and it's hardly surprising, is it? I went to Primark again. This time I picked up a few more kind of wintry bits and autumny bits, and as you guys can tell by like my lipstick and kind of what I'm wearing. I am super excited about autumn and like autumn fashion I just absolutely love. So I was looking for a winter coat because I didn't have like a proper winter coat. And I was also looking for a new bag for school slash uni I guess. I ended up picking up a few extra bits which I also felt were completely necessary so I just thought I'd show you guys what I got. So I thought the first thing that I would show you guys is the thing that I've already used. Um, it's my new bag and it just looks like this. This was £10. It's basically just a black bag which has the two handles here which can fold down and then it also has a like shoulder strap which I really like because I really like putting my bag on my shoulder. I just find it more comfortable. But I also like the option of being able to carry it like this as well. So it just looks like this. It's got this kind of like fake croc, croc, is it kind of croc like? This fake kind of like almost like I guess crocodile like effect here and then it's got a zip which has a little pocket at the front so yeah and then on the back it's just plain black and then it's got these little like studded metal bits here and yeah this bag is pretty big inside it's just got a big zip that goes all the way along it and then on the inside it's got like a couple of pockets here which you can put your phone and then some pens and then it's also got like a zip pocket here so yeah that is my new school bag which I really really like also when I was in the bag section I saw this bag and it looked so lonely it was all by itself, on a railing, and it didn't have any friends, so I thought I'd take it home with me because it was reduced to £5, so I thought I may as well get it because even if I didn't use it as my school bag, because I knew that, that was going to be my school bag, I thought I could definitely get some use out of this, and it's only £5 and I really liked the shape of it and everything, so it just looks like this. It's basically got the kind of wings, which I really like. It's got this flap which has two poppers and oh my god doesn't this look like a cute little monster, it's so cute. And again this has a fake kind of like snake skin thing here. It's got this zip which I don't actually think does anything. You yeah, know this isn't actually a pocket which I don't really get but um, whatever it adds detail I guess. And then it's got this zip which goes all the way along it which I really like because a lot of these bags they, the zip stops from like here to here and where the wings are they don't have any zip which I don't really understand because you can literally just like have everything fall out your bag or somebody could just reach their hand in but anyway it looks like this on the inside it's the same as the other one with the zip compartment and then some of the um, phone pockets and stuff so yeah like I said that bag was only five pounds which I thought was a complete bargain really and it was reduced from 10 and again this just has a long strap as well although this comes from this uh, handle here rather than the sides but oh well I still really like this bag and it was only a fiver so the next thing I got is one of my favourite purchases and I bought this because I saw it in Sophie Louise Beauty's video I believe that is her YouTube name and yeah I saw that she bought this hat and I just had to hunt it down and luckily it was in my local Primark um, so it's basically just a hat, a beanie hat that says something about pugs on it which I can't remember. Snug as a pug it says and um, it's just got pugs all over it and then it's got this little black bubble and I just thought it was so adorable and I like wearing hats in the winter like I don't know I just think it looks cool with like dark lipstick and stuff so yeah I got this hat and I just had to have it because you guys know that I love pugs so I think this hat was five pounds or four pounds I've cut the little tag off it, but I think it was like five or four pounds. Something like that. It was pretty cheap. So yeah, I really, really like this hat. Next thing I've got, which I'm kind of annoyed about, is this plain white top. And it's just one of their long sleeve rib tops. Actually, it's exactly the same as the one I'm wearing today, but this is just the white version. And I really wanted one in white and I wanted one in black as well. But I just found the white one, which I thought was in my size. Because um, I went to try something in the changing room, put my basket down, and when I came back, somebody had taken my basket or like cleared it away or something. So I had to like run around and find everything that I wanted again. And this top was in my basket in a size 6, which is the one that I wanted. And when I ran back to pick it up, I accidentally picked up a 10 because the USA size is at the bottom and it said USA 6. So I just saw 6 and was like, oh yeah, that'll be the right size. And then I put it in my basket, got in the massively long queue, and then realised it was the wrong size. 
So I just bought it anyway in hopes that it would fit. And it is a tiny bit too big, but I think I'm gonna work with it. And this was only four pounds. And that just made the lighting go really funny, I'm sorry about that. By the way, I'm saving the best till last. So the next thing I got is some socks, which I just could not resist. They are little elephant socks, and I don't know if you guys know that pugs and elephants are my favourite animals, so I got kind of a bit of both here. So I got these elephant socks, which were £1.50 for three pairs, and the first pair is just kind of like black and pink with this elephant on it. The second pair is my favourite, and it's white with tiny little grey elephants all over it. And then the third pair is red with black and white stripes and then it does have some little elephants at the top but you can't actually see them uh, there we go, can you see them there? so yeah I just thought these sort of socks were really cute and I'm always needing new socks and they were only one pound fifty, so I got these as well so the next thing that I got is this jacket and it's kind of difficult to show up it's extremely difficult to show I can't do this Hang on, nope, that's not really working. Okay, basically, I'm gonna try these on. But it's kind of knitted around the back and on the sleeves. It's got these knitted kind of cream sleeves and they also did this in black. And then it's got this kind of fake uh, suede kind of waterfall effect, like lapels kind of. And then the inside is just like completely lined with this like white fur and it's so warm and snuggly and I saw this and I just fell in love with it and I tried it on in black but I thought that this cream version was a bit more like different and this was only £16 and I actually got this in a medium because they didn't have any smalls or extra smalls but this actually fits fine so yeah I really 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 love this. So the final thing I've got I'm going to keep on the hanger and you guys will have heard about this if you follow me on Twitter you would have heard the whole story about this coat that I went like searching high and low for it so if you guys don't follow me on Twitter just follow me the link is down below it's just at so does nails and basically this coat is like oh it's just so gorgeous it's a camel colored coat it's quite long it kind of comes down past my knees it's got these pockets in it here it's got lapels which I absolutely love and my favorite thing about it was this giant furry collar and this fur is actually detachable which is really cool because I really like coats that have like lapels as well I just think they look so smart and like fashionable but this actually has like fur and you can take the fur off and basically I saw this coat in my local Primark and I absolutely fell in love with it but the smallest size they have was a 10 and I tried it on it was just way too big for me and I was so sad because I'd literally fallen in love with this coat so I went home I was searching on eBay for it I was asking people to buy it for me and put it on eBay. Um, I was saying how gutted I was that I couldn't find this coat. And then a couple of days later, I went into London with my mum and we went to Oxford Street and we walked four miles to try and find Primark on Oxford Street. Because we were kind of close by to Oxford Street, we didn't think that we need to get the tube, but actually we walked the distance of four tube stations just to find Primark. So I literally ran in there and I saw all the coats and I was like, yes, they have it. And then I went over and they didn't have it in my size. And they only had big sizes again and I was literally about to burst into tears. I know it sounds ridiculous, but like I was so tired of like walking to find Primark and so hyped up that I was gonna buy the coat. I just choked. Sorry if my eyes are watering. But yeah, I was so hyped up that I was gonna get this coat and then they didn't have it, so I was literally about to cry, like kind of like I'm doing right now. And um and yeah, my mum was like asking the staff, do they have any more? And they were like, nope, sorry, we only have what we have on the shelves. And I was like, no. So I was literally like frantic. I was running through all the coats, like searching through all of them to see if one of them misplaced. And I found one size eight. I needed a size six, but I was like, nope, eight is gonna be fine. Like it's just, it's just gonna do. So I picked up the eight, but somebody had like stolen the fur off it. So I just took the fur off one of the other coats. Like obviously it was the same style of coat. And I'm so happy that I finally have it because I just loved it so much. And you guys probably didn't care at all about that coat story, but I just thought I'd tell you anyway. And that was £28. So I hope you guys enjoyed this autumn Primark haul. If you guys don't already follow me on Twitter and Instagram, they'll be linked down below so you can go and check that out. You can go and check out what's on my nails today because you guys seem to like these nails a lot. Also, if you're liking these Primark hauls, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll certainly be doing more in the future as you guys become probably tell because I seem to be doing one like on a monthly basis it's just what I like to spend my money on really also if you guys aren't already subscribed to me that would be pretty cool if you would subscribe then you can see more Primark hauls if you're like into this kind of thing so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye
together inspired by some of the outfits that Taylor has worn, so yeah.